Edith Nesbitt, The Poetry, An Introduction Edith Nesbitt is more famously known as a writer of children's stories and ghost stories, some of which are available in other volumes. But in this volume we explore her poetry. Born in 1858 in Kennington, then part of Surrey and now London, her early life was one of constant house changes before meeting, age 17, Hubert Bland, who she was to marry three years later while she was seven months pregnant. Additionally, Bland kept his affair with another woman going throughout. The two children of this relationship were raised by Edith as her own, as well as their own three. They founded the Fabian Society in 1884. Thought of as the first modern writer for children, she also wrote for adults, producing over 50 books in total. Like many consummate writers who yearn to be recognised as poets, their other works are given greater recognition. Now in this volume, you be the judge. These poems are brought to your ears by Gisela Rowe and Richard Midgley. The Beatific Vision O oh God, if I do my duty and walk in the thorny way, will you pay me with heavens of beauty millions of lives away? Will you give me the music of heaven and the joy that none understands in place of what life would have given if I had held out my hands? I have lived in a narrow prison, I have writhed neath a bitter creed, and I dare to say that no heaven can pay the renounced dream and deed. But when my life's portal closes, if you have no heaven to spare, God, give me a garden of roses and someone to walk with there. May Day Will you go a-maying, a-maying, a-maying? Come and be my Queen of May and pluck the May with me. The fields are full of daisy buds and new lambs playing. The bird is on the nest, dear, the blossom's on the tree. If I go with you, if I go a-maying, to be your queen and wear my crown this May Day bright, hand in hand, straying, it must be only playing, and playtime ends at sunset and then good night. For I have heard of maidens who laughed and went a-maying, went out queens and lost their crowns and came back slaves. I will be no young man's slave, submitting and obeying, bearing chains as those did, even to their graves. If you come a-maying, a-straying, a-playing, we will pluck the little flowers enough for you and me. And when the day dies, end our one day's playing, give a kiss and take a kiss and go home free. The Day of Judgment When the bearing and doing are over, and no more is to do or bear, God will see us and judge us, the kind of men we were, and our sins, so ugly and heavy, we shall drag them into his sight, and throw them down at the foot of the throne, foul on the steps of light. We shall not be shamed or frightened, though the angels are all at hand, for he will look at our burden, and he will understand. He will turn to the little angels, agog to hear and obey, and point to the festering sin-loads with, Take that rubbish away! Then the steps will be cleared of the burdens that we threw down at his feet, and we shall be washed in the tears of Christ, and our tears bathe his feet, and the harvest of all our sinning that moment's shame will reap, when we look in the eyes that love us, and know we have made them weep. Love and Life Love only sings when love is young, when love is young and still at play. How shall we count the sweet songs sung when love and joy kept holiday? But now love has to earn his bread by lifelong stress and toil of tears. He finds his nest of songbirds dead that sang so sweet in other years. For love's a man now, strong and brave, to fight for you, for you to live, and love that once such bright songs gave has better things than songs to give. He gives you now a lifelong faith, a hand to help in joy or pain, and he will sing no more till death shall come to make him young again. The Confession I haven't always acted good. I've taken things not meant for me. 
not other people's drink and food, but things they never seem to see. I haven't done the way I ought, if all they say in church is true. But all I've had I've fairly bought, and paid for pretty heavy too. For days and weeks are very long if you get nothing new and bright, and if you never do no wrong, somehow you never do no right. The chap that daresn't go a yard for fear the past should lead astray may be a saint, though that seems hard, but he's no traveller anyway. Some things I can't be sorry for, the things that silly people hate. But some I did, I do deplore. I knew inside they wasn't straight. And when my last account is filed, and stuck-up angels stop their song, I'll ask God's pardon like a child for what I really knew was wrong. If you've a child, you'd rather see a bit of temper off and on, a greedy grab, a silly spree, and then a brave thing said or done, than hear your boy whine all day long about the things he mustn't do. Just doing nothing, right or wrong. And God may feel the same as you. For God's our Father, so they say. He made his laws and he made me. He'll understand about the way me and his laws could not agree. He might say, you're worth more, my son, than all my laws since law began. Take good with bad, here's something done, and I'm your God and you're my man. A Farewell Goodbye, goodbye, it is not hard to part. You have my heart, the heart that leaps to hear your name called by an echo in a dream. You have my soul, that like an untroubled stream reflects your soul that leans so dear, so near. Your heartbeat set the rhythm for my heart. What more could life give if we gave her leave to give, and life should give us leave to take? Only each other's arms, each other's eyes, each other's lips, the clinging secrecies that are but as the written words to make records of what the heart and soul achieve. This, only this, we yield, my love, my friend, to fate's implacable eyes and withering breath. We still are yours and mine, though by time's theft my arms are empty and your arms bereft. It is not hard to part, not harder than death, and each of us must face death in the end.